All right, everybody, how's it going? We have some more NFL news. As you kind of can figure, the uh, offseason has kind of slowed down. Free agency has slowed down as most of the major players have gone somewhere, Any like any of the major names that would really shake up the market. Of course, there's always like a hidden pending trade or somebody getting potentially moved. There's all kinds of rumors with that. And if anything still big happens, you know, maybe somebody gets traded, somebody gets released, somebody signs a franchise tag or gets traded and whatever. Whatever happens, you know, we'll cover it as we see like a big news story as it comes. But again, things slowed down a little bit and the news kind of started to crawl a little bit. Um, but now we're officially at kind of like the owner meetings, the teams are meeting. So we're probably going to get things about rule changes, anything they might agree to. Um, there's a new committee that was formed and like, you know, there's all t sorts of things that happens at these uh, coaches, owners and league meetings that happen right now. So, um, you know, it's always fun. I think one of the things that come out is who's going to be the team that's represented on HBO's Hard Knocks. Um, there is a couple teams still left left that have never had to do hard knocks before and the lions of course the lions were one of them and now they're not um hard knocks typically likes to avoid there's like a certain set of rules that you can be like excluded from hard knocks and the lions with the high coach turnover are usually excluded at almost every two years they don't have to do it or they're not eligible but this year they you know they have a consecutive head coach consecutive quarterback so it's one of those rare situations where they're primed to be on the thing and with um the entertainment level of a guy like dan campbell jared goff didn't do so bad on his first hard knocks um you've got like jamal williams i think is still there you've got quite a collection of characters in Detroit now where it's like all right they're not the same old boring bad lions there's actually like a personality to this team there's there's something here for them so I mean it could be fun to watch we'll get to watch Dan Campbell you know coach during uh during training camp so we'll get to join the Lions for their training camp experience see what the Lions do that make them play the way that they do during camp maybe they do some bad things maybe like a witch doctor comes in and hexes everybody and they all laugh about it and they don't realize that they just doom themselves for the regular season. There's all kinds of things um, that could be like true about this, uh, you know, about uh, what they do in camp. But now we'll get to actually see what a Lions training camp looks like. The Lions can finally knock out that they've been on hard knocks. They don't have to sweat it out every year that they're going to be chosen uh, as one of the teams if they have a consecutive coach or quarterback. So, I mean, that's good. Um, so good for the Lions. Congratulations. We'll, we'll get to watch that. I hope it's not super boring or dumb, but I mean, it's an interesting team with the head coach that they got. Um, I guess we can kind of take a quick peek at how some people are reacting. Uh, they should be showing the fans who sticks with, uh, this no Super Bowl ever. Sorry team. Oh yeah. There's, there's some people who are a little bit, uh, angry, but like Dan Campbell changed the, uh, culture in 12 months. I mean, to be fair, that is true. Hey man, welcome to Detroit. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I mean, there's, there's some optimism. We all know that. I mean, he's, you know, this is a pretty entertaining guy as a head coach. So that'll be fun. Um, anyway, we also have more Lions news. I know the Lions were just big winners today. Um, they, they just keep going. Uh, all right, here's another W for the Lions. They actually won the 2024 NFL Draft. They beat out Green Bay and uh, Washington. So yeah, we uh, we were talking about this a few like a month ago. We knew the finalists for the draft w for 2024 was coming down to Green Bay, Washington, and Detroit. With Detroit kind of in the lead for the draft. Um, so that's pretty cool to see them get the pick. They get to do it. Uh, of course, this year's draft is in Las Vegas, next year in Kansas City, and in 2024, the Detroit Lions get to host the draft. Good for the city. Um, wonder why they get to have it. Is it a vote or how that work? No, they just go to Madden, whichever team pops them. <laughs> uh, no one knows how they decided it looks like. Um, this makes the W for Detroit even bigger. Yeah, because, I mean, right before this, they literally were given uh, hard knocks, and now they're going to get this. Um, let me see. Is this related to the Lions' agreement to do hard knocks? I think oh, that person might have hit it right on the head. I wonder if it's because they were like, we really want to put you guys on hard knocks. And uh, the Lions played their hand and went, well, if you want to put us on hard knocks, then you should probably give us the NFL draft. I mean, scratch our back, we'll scratch yours. You know, we got these sharp ass claws. It'll probably feel really good if we scratched your back, NFL. Um, you know, and also Detroit, you know, it's, you know, it's probably time they get to do something. Um, I know that um, I also wonder if it has to do with um, 
Sheila Ford Hamp being on like the uh, USA football committee that is like ran by the NFL. I think it's like USA football, that like high school thing. It's like a board of directors that she was placed upon. I wonder if um, the Lions getting more involved there, you know, they're they have this new identity, like a budding culture that seems to be a, like a likable thing. They seem more likable than ever before. Um I wonder if they just, the NFL went, hey, maybe this will be the spark that gets this team continuously on the rise. Um, so good for Detroit. I'm very happy for the city. It'll be a nice little boom and bust. Uh, they'll get some money. They'll get a, you know, they'll get a good deal of money in there for a few, for a weekend. Um, it'll be a good time. It'll be a good showcase for how much Detroit's matured over the couple years uh, since the last time there's been like a national audience in Detroit, um, which the city has immensely grown up. It, it's a different kind of feel when you're, when you're looking at it, when you're down there. And it would be cool to let that be seen by you know a mass amount of people and you know we maybe even get that with hard knocks as well so that's kind of cool as well um it's cool to see the lions actually getting something other than dumped on by the nfl media it's cool to see them winning things um though most people think it's going to be boring you know it's it's the lions they don't really win much so you know you want to see like the chiefs or you want to see like i don't know tampa bay's training camp i would i understand that and i kind of get it but you know the Lions eventually had to do hard knocks, and why not do it when they have a fun head coach like Dan Campbell? And hey, they're good for them. They get to host the draft. I wonder if they'll have a number one pick in the draft this year, uh, that year when they have to pick. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you think down below. Do you, are you happy or excited about the Lions getting hard knocks? Uh, do you think it's going to be boring and you'd rather see what team? Let me know. Uh, you know, just let me know down below. Um, what else? Uh, do you think that Green Bay or Washington deserved the draft more than the Lions? Should it have gone to Pittsburgh? But, you know, they weren't in the running apparently. So what do you think about that? Are the Lions getting too many W's? Is Are you confused? I'm kind of confused on why the league's being so cool with Detroit. Maybe the Lions will even start getting... I mean, I'm going to hold my breath on this if you're a Lions fan. Um, maybe the Lions are actually going to start getting fair calls in football games. All this could be happening. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Um, also, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. The likes help get the video seen. The subscriptions help grow the channel. Both things are free and really do help out the channel You know, in any type of way. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I really do thank you for watching. Um, I could stretch this out to eight minutes, but I'm not like that. So I'm going to end it right about now. Uh, yep. So the Lions get uh, hard knocks this year and they'll get the draft in 2024. Hey, maybe they can win a Super Bowl and, uh, you know, Lions, Lions are trending up. It looks like unless they, you know, fall back to earth and, you know, have another bad year and have to fire Dan Campbell. So, all right. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, uh, for listening. Have a great re uh, watching, uh, listening listening whatever word i was about to say um go lions go tigers and of course go patriots and uh yeah congrats to the lions on the massive w's this afternoon i'm probably gonna just let this play out till exactly eight minutes so that way like youtube can't suppress it um yeah i'm sure green bay fans are a bit salty they didn't get the draft and all right i'm gonna get out of here thank you guys so much for listening peace out and uh tip your waiter or whatever